Welcome to Muto Belgium. You certainly know Muto already from our pioneering intelligent interweaving technology. Today I would like to explain one of the latest Muto breakthrough innovations, our Dropmaster technology, developed for Muto's ValueJet roll-to-roll -roll printers. To better understand what Dropmaster does, we need to be aware about the challenges that come with multi-pass roll-to-roll -roll printers. Most roll-to-roll -roll printers offer the possibility to change the head height. The head height is typically adapted to the thickness of the substrate you're printing on. On a Muto value jet, this is done by manually moving the orange lever at the side of the carriage to any of the three fixed positions, low, middle or high. Although roll-to-roll -roll printers are only dealing with roll media, the media thicknesses can easily vary from 100 micron up to 1 millimeter. In reality, let's say, you would be working one day with a 140 micron poster paper, but the day after with a 400 plus micron thick PVC banner. Now, that doesn't seem like a real challenge, except that the head height can't compensate for different thicknesses, because we're having these fixed head positions. This means that the gap between the print head and the media can vary. In inkjet terms, we also speak about the drop throw distance. It is the distance at which a drop travels from the point where it's leaving the print head nozzle until it hits the surface of the media. For a 100 micron poster paper, this distance will be longer than for a 500 micron banner, because the gap is 400 micron bigger. This is not just inherent to Muto printers, it is true for every roll to roll system. In practice this means that only media sharing more or less the same thickness with the reference media will deliver decent output quality. But let's see what happens when we print on thinner media. The drop throw distance becomes longer and the traveling time of the drop becomes longer with it, causing the unidirectional target to shift a little to the left. The same would be true for the bidirectional timing. The drop would miss its target, but now in the other direction, shifting the drops a little to the right, causing both drops that are supposed to be on top of each other now being separated. Details like small characters or line work will become blurry and smooth solid colors turn grainy and coarse. A similar error would happen when you print on thicker media. In this case, the drop throw distance becomes shorter and the traveling time of the drop gets shorter with it, causing the unidirectional target to shift a little to the right because the drops hit the media earlier. The same goes for the bidirectional timing. The drop lands earlier on the media and just like with the thinner media, the uni and bidirectional drops are positioned apart. Also in this case, we would be facing a loss of detail and image smoothness. Let's have a look at some reality shots. We clearly see small text suffering from ghost effects and delicate smooth greys become grainy. This is when Dropmaster comes in. We see the text being restored to crisp little fonts and the greys are silky smooth again. This is what happens. When the unidirectional drop shifts to the right, the ValueJet 1638X knows precisely where that drop will fall. How so? Because we know how the characteristic curve of each individual drop, regardless of its size, looks like. With that knowledge, the bidirectional timing can be recalculated to meet the new target, and it does this on the fly. There is no need to print a test pattern or to measure anything, it's an all self-calibrating system. 
The only two conditions to make Dropmaster successful is to embed the thickness value into your media profiles and make sure the printhead is within focusing distance of the media by selecting the appropriate head height. Both the rib and the printer will take it from there. Very easy. Dropmaster technology will bring you an unprecedented level of print comfort. Technology has been introduced together with the high-end ValueJet 1638X and ValueJet 2638. But over time, it will become part of every ValueJet of the current generation. As a matter of fact, our smallest and most recent model, the 628, is already used. See you around and thanks for watching.